Alabama Governor Robert Bentley has signed a bill that allows public schools to keep a supply of EpiPens on campus and makes it legal for teachers to administer the medication without a prescription. Local 15's Christian Jennings joins us now. And Christian, you have food allergies yourself, so this really hits home for you. I do. I'm severely allergic to peanuts, so I understand the importance of acting quickly when allergy symptoms develop. It's very dangerous. My throat closes up, my eyes get red. So this is a very important bill. Now keep in mind that because this new law isn't funded by the state, local public school systems aren't required to stock up on EpiPens. But this allows school systems to either find the local funds to do it or find a manufacturer or physician to donate the life-saving devices. Rebecca Burrette's son, Jr., is supposed to start kindergarten next year, but she's considering homeschooling him because of the allergic reaction he has to corn. If a child eats corn and touches him, he could have a, a reaction from it. I mean, it, just, it scares me. She's one of many parents supporting a new state law that allows public schools to stock up on epinephrine auto injectors. And the law doesn't require schools to have individual prescriptions to have them or administer them. With an allergy or something, it just needs to be done right away. It's not a waiting game. I mean, it's our kids lives. If you go and do these things quickly administering an epinephrine device then you have a chance to save lives. Mobile allergist Dr. Leonard Caputo says food allergies are on the uptick so there's a likelihood that more severe allergic reactions will happen on school grounds. Over the last uh, 10 years the, the incidence of peanut allergy has tripled worldwide. Tripled. He also says EpiPens can be used for bee stings or insect bites. So a, a student is stung by fire ants, falls into a mound on the playground and stung by 15 and 20 of them, this could be a device that saves their life as well. So it's not only limited to foods. Now, the new law also requires the State Department of Education to develop an anaphylaxis preparedness program that local school boards can adopt and implement. The program will include education for both staff and students on how to administer EpiPens and what symptoms to look for prior to administering the drug. Greg.